I'm here with my Dash Mini Griddle and this Betty Crocker Blueberry Muffin Mix. The question is, will it griddle? Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. So I got this muffin mix at the Dollar Tree. It was $1.25. It says just add water or milk. So all we need to do is add some water. It says this makes six muffins. And on the back, it says you need a half cup of water. So they give you instructions to heat your oven to 400 degrees or 375 if you're using nonstick pans. Place paper baking cups in six regular size muffin cups for best results or grease bottoms only of muffin cups. Stir muffin mix and water or milk just until blended. Spoon into cups about three tablespoons each. And then bake for 17 to 22 minutes. So. We are going to make this in the Dash Mini Griddle. So here's my bowl. This mix is just going everywhere. It's splattering everywhere. I'm gonna use the whole thing. Let me clean up this table. So this is what the muffin mix looks like. You can see lots of what I'm hoping are dried blueberries but they're not they're all the same shape it's like can you see they're a very unnatural shape they're like these little cylinder shapes hmm That's, those are definitely not real blueberries so I don't have a measuring cup I'm in a hotel right now and it's one thing I need to bring with me so we're just going to estimate about a half cup of water I did bring water with me, so let's pour this in. And let's mix this together. Let's see what happens. Is that gonna be enough? Hopefully it's not too much. This looks nice. It's forming a nice batter. I'm sorry if the lighting is kind of strange. The uh, lighting in this room is not the best. So here's the batter, it looks good. It's a little bit lumpy, but I think that's okay for muffins. Smells sweet. I just plugged in my Dash Mini Griddle. The blue light is still on. Once the blue light goes off, then we're ready to start cooking. The blue light just went off. Let's open this up and let's add some of the batter. Now I did taste it and it's super sweet. So that's two heaping tablespoons of batter. I don't know if that's gonna grow, so I think that's a good amount. Let's shut this, and I don't know. I'll be back in maybe five minutes. It's now been three and a half minutes, and I'm getting a really nice aroma out of this, so let's open this up and see what's going on inside. Wow, wow, look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Let me grab something to take that off. Okay, let's see what's going on on the bottom. What's going on on the other side? That's what the bottom looks like, beautiful golden brown. So let's take this off. So here is our griddle muffin. It looks really good. It cooked beautifully. Let's break it open. See what's going on inside. Piping hot. I don't know if you could see all the steam coming off of it. Look how beautiful the inside looks in only three and a half minutes. So this would be something that would be great to make for breakfast. Really quick, really easy. All you need is that package and some water and you have a nice blueberry muffin for breakfast. So now let's taste this. It tastes good. It tastes like a blueberry muffin. Not the best blueberry muffin that I've ever had. It doesn't really taste like a homemade blueberry muffin from scratch, but it does taste like the kind of blueberry muffin that you would get when you're traveling. If your hotel has a breakfast buffet, for example, or if you're stopping at a convenience store or even at some kind of breakfast shop, this is very comparable to that and it's a whole lot cheaper. It was $1.25 for the package, 
and we've made one so far. We could probably easily make about four of these out of that package. So it's definitely economical. And again, if I was traveling and I wanted a fast, warm breakfast, this would be perfect for that. Also, if I had some butter, some butter would be nice on here also. And I don't think you could really go wrong with this. With some fresh fruit and a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, you have a really nice breakfast. Even if you had like a hard boiled egg with it, that would make a nice meal also. And so that is how you can make a Betty Crocker blueberry muffin in a dash mini griddle. I hope this video is helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see what else can griddle in this dash mini griddle. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.